What's going on guys? Happy New Year. Welcome back to another development video. Up here in the top, your top left, I believe, will be the topics we're discussing as well as their timestamps. Timestamps will also be in the description if you want to zoom on over there. And let's get into what I chose, the 16-inch MacBook Pro as my 2022 developer and content creation machine. All right, first of all, I want to start off by saying why I chose macOS over Windows. The biggest thing that Apple has going on is their ecosystem. You know, I can take my iPad, my phone, or you know, even my MacBook if I have to to get certain things done anytime, anywhere. It's it's the biggest thing, the probably the biggest factor in terms of actually choosing macOS over Windows. Another thing is gaming. You know, Windows is a big supporter of gaming, and you know, macOS doesn't support as much, so it really does give you that environment to where you're not able to veer off and really you're able to just zone in and get it done. Now, in terms of actually just opening a MacBook, I get that little extra like stimuli of motivation that I need to actually get something done. It may differ for you, but in terms of me, it's just just some like a magical feeling in terms of actually zoning in and getting your tasks done. <clears throat> now, um, before we get into my specs, I'll say I have this M1 Air or M1 MacBook Air, I should say, base model with 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's been great, literally handled everything I could throw at it. But there were two reasons, or two main reasons, I should say, that I chose to upgrade. The main thing being these two bad boys back here, the, the 4K monitors, you can only support one. And another thing is on the go, the screen is a little bit too small in terms of resolution and trying to actually fit everything on there. And I'll try to throw a little picture, a little video of what my actual workflow is, you know, if I only got one monitor. and. I really just hated being forced to bring sidecar with me or my iPad to sidecar, I should say. And th those were just the two biggest factors for me. Now, in terms of my specs, I have the base model, 16 inch. Uh, the, the storage has been fine. If I need extra, I'll get an external, plug it in, throw it off. You know, I'll be done with that. Apple usually charges you a little bit more of a premium in terms of, you know, actually charging you for extra storage. But, you know, if that's something convenient, be more than glad to upgrade to that. RAM, um, Mac OS is Linux based, so there's just it does everything proficiently as well as it can. Um, and I've had no issues bottlenecks in terms of my usage. In terms of why I chose the 16 inch over the 14 inch, biggest thing is the screen size. The screen's an amazing screen in terms of a 3.5K versus a 3K display. Like again, if you, from the video or clip you just seen before, I am actually able to fit everything on it that I need to. Um, so that, that one of the biggest things, another thing is the battery life. Battery life's amazing to me on the go. I can go two, sometimes three days without needing a charge in terms of actually getting stuff done. It's rated for four extra hours over the six or over the 14 inch. And it's been great. Another issue. One of the biggest issues I did choose the 16 inch over the 14 inch is when I'm typing the 14 inch when I'm typing, my palms are, I guess a little on the fatter side. Oh, well. And whenever I'm touching or, you know, typing development, my palm will, since I have the touch to click feature on, I get the issue of like typing, my palms hit and that places the cursor way above, up or down, wherever it was. And it'll start typing from there. And it was something that constantly kept happening. It's not, it's just not one of those things I want to turn off a feature just to get past something because then I have to get used to clicking it. And, you know, it's just, it's one of those things I didn't want to deal with. And then another thing is, like I said, with the 13 inch, I didn't want to be forced to to bring sidecar to actually get stuff done. That's another thing where I have enough room for sidecar or to bring my iPad to do sidecar. So th those were just the main reasons why I chose the 16 inch over the 14 inch. Now, there are a couple cons in choosing 16 inch over the 14. The biggest thing would be the weight. A lot of people are going to say, I personally don't think it's a big difference. It's like 1.2 pounds. Unless you're like hiking with it, it might get heavy. But in terms of just Going in a backpack, you know, going to class, going into work, you know, the office, something like that. It's perfect. No issues with me. I can't even hardly tell a difference. It is a lot lighter when you're actually trying to pick them up. But like once you get used to just picking it up, taking it somewhere real quick and laying it out, it's it's not that bad at all. And I guess another thing that people would say is like, do you have enough room to work? You know, if you're a frequent flyer, if you're especially like economy class, you you might be cramped. You know, I've seen a lot of videos and reviews on that part of it and that side of things, you know, if 
to kind of, I guess, think about where you're, where you're going to be at most of the time. Do you have enough room for it? But for me, 16 inches is perfect size. You know, I'm not a big traveler right now, especially with um, the COVID going around. So, yeah. Now, um, my experience as a developer with it has been been great. Um, I'm more of a .NET full stack role in terms of front end. I do Angular stuff, middle like you know your API middleware stuff is .NET and SQL Server for the back end. Sometimes I use Oracle, so uh, macOS has no issues handling either all any of those. Um, if I do need to do some .NET stuff that isn't supported yet, I can go into Parallels, use that. But right now for SQL Server, you know it's not supported on macOS yet. So, or I don't know if it ever will be, but for now I containerize it within Docker. And if I need to be more of a power user, I'll just hop over to, to the Windows side of things, do what I need to do, and then update the container. And then, you know, part of the part you've been waiting for, do I recommend? Personally, I'm going to say no, these devices are expensive, but they're perfect for the people that need them. Or, you know, I guess want them, if you're one of those people that... Just want the newest and nicest things like me. I can be sometimes. It's it, it sucks being that way, but sometimes you just really do want the the new latest and greatest. But for me, I'm I'm gonna recommend this bad boy right here, the MacBook Air. If you can get past only needing one monitor, you know, especially like high school kids or college kids that may not have the desk for it or anything, this is it's great. Um, you know, if you go to the refurbished store, you know, as Apple does, treats refurbished products as new products. You're probably going to get the better value for sure because it's only a thousand fifty dollars if you get my exact same specs. That is forty percent of the cost. That's that's a crazy number to think about. Forty percent, and you're getting that much horsepower under the hood. Um, it's crazy. I couldn't recommend it more. Definitely the more bang for your buck. But if this is something that you have to have, you're not going to go wrong with either fourteen or sixteen inch. Um, you know, just depending on what you're like. If you want to get the fourteen inch, and maybe just upgrade the CPU or something to the ten CP ten core CPU. But I do not recommend the Max version at all. I've tested them, and I really can say that they don't make a difference in my workflow unless you're just a heavy, heavy graphic designer, someone in Blender a lot. Um, maybe if you make VR games for the Oculus, something along those lines. That's probably going to be the biggest thing that I could say that you might need it for. But other than that, the base models will be fine. Now, in terms of the roadmap for this year, I want to get some more Angular projects and tutorials up on the board, or up on the, the channel at least. Uh, it's a new space that I'm, you know, it's a space I'm newer to. I want to grow in and I want to help you guys grow in too, especially your early starting. You know, I'm going to kind of try to take it through what I learned, how I'll learn it. And, you know, I'm still newer in this role, so I'm still picking up Angular, but I'm picking it up at a very fast pace. So hopefully I can help you guys do the same. Um, another thing is analyzing and studying job postings, maybe help you with those interviews, get past those, those rounds that you need and you're, you're kind of failing at. Um, you know, definitely I've had a couple rounds before, you know, I've, I fail, you're going to fail. It, it happens. Um, it's, it's just how you bounce back from those. Take, take the little lessons and hopefully I can help with that. And then studying or, you know, being able to research and find those perfect fits for you. I know this is my, I believe, third company. You know, I'm still earlier into my software career, but this is, this company has been, been, been great, especially with the, I'm not the biggest social person, but, you know, I'm okay, you know, I'm fine with actually having to talk to my coworkers and stuff. You know, you have your meeting and but they're not like big on constantly having video calls and stuff. You know, they try to bug you as the least amount as they need to and let you get your work done. And and that that's been perfect. You know, if you if I do need something, I'll be more than happy to video call you if I need to make it more clear. But you know, that's just kind of the, my experience when I, I definitely know that, that I can help some of you guys with that. Now, and if there's something that I didn't, you know, mention. Feel free to drop your comments below. I'll be more than glad to, to answer them. And, you know, like always, make the best of the rest of your day and have a good one.